hi welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to make um actually garden signs or you know if you have seedlings or you seed um you have seed and you want to grow them then you sometimes forget in which tray are which seeds from which plant and in order to remember that you can put some signs into the dirt so you know which seed is in which tray and my brother asked me to make him those signs since i'm a crafter and he wants it for his birthday present but yeah if you know me i really like something cute and you know i cannot just make it simple it have to be extra in some sort of way so i made this designs i want to brainstorm with you in here so you have an idea what i'm going to do um this is the designs this are i basically want to make the gnomes into garden signs so i had the idea to every gnome has his own um, element as you can see i have a pumpkin gnome and then a flower gnome and then the water gnome and here's the stone or the rock gnome and then the butterfly gnome um so the idea is why i wanted to brainstorm with you because i don't really know if this is gonna work out so the idea was that i'm going to make this signs or this little plates are gonna be the place where you can put in the papers where you write down the name of the plant that you plant in there either vegetable or a fruit or a flower whatever you do so and in order it have to be waterproof right it had it has to be able to be in the weather rained on and sun on so i thought that glass would be the best way to protect the sign from the weather and also i'm as usual gonna use my homemade cold porcelain clay for this project and in order to make it waterproof i'm going to use a varnish so they will be sealed and waterproof like like this ones and because we know that cold porcelain clay shrinks so my idea is that i'm gonna implant or incorporate this glass into the figures while i'm building them already so the clay can shrink on the science so we don't have to glue them on later and that will make it breakable like fragile and i'm going to use this uv resin that i just bought for this project in order to glue on things that are a little bit harder to glue on because regular resin cures in like 24 hours and that's way too long and this uv resin cures just with with uv light and other glues just doesn't really hold that good so that's the idea what i'm going to do i also bought this glass cutter to cut the glass into my little sign pieces and then i'm going to use my uh, this aloe foil for the insides of the bigger parts or the body of the gnome so i don't just fully use the clay um, because i don't really have much clay left as you see that's my only left clay and maybe i have to make more i'm just sometimes a little bit lazy to make the clay so yeah just we will see and i think it will be a longer project because since you see i have so many gnomes and there is so much process in doing this so maybe if this video get too long i will make it into two parts okay let's go and start the project so wish me luck that i don't mess up this glass this is actually a glass that i took from a picture frame that i don't use anymore so i thought i can use it for this project because it's quite thin glass we don't want like bulky thick window glass so that's why i'm using this one and we need a ruler and then i'm supposedly just doing Oh my god, I'm so scared. I don't know why. No, I messed it up. But you know what? I'm just gonna use them. I cannot do it anymore. It's so bad. 
so what now i have my five glass pieces you can see they are totally uneven this is the best i could do for now i mean i, sh I could do better maybe if i practice more but for now i'm just gonna leave it like this and i know they are uneven but they will build in the edges will build in in the clay anyway so you cannot really see it i already did it once and as you see it came out pretty good i mean it's it's not beautiful it's not pretty it's not clean but it works as you can see but it was a quite messy process and it was not that easy i'm going to repeat it one more time on camera because the first time was a mess i spilled the cv resin all over the place and it goes it got really messy but i want to gonna try it one more time so you can see how i did it first i have two of this little stick pieces and i'm going to place them on the corners and then i'm going to going to glue them on using my uv resin oh yeah i use this for my base so i didn't spill the resin on my table and it don't got stick on my table so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this little bit of resin on the edges of this glass okay like this and then i'm going to put one of my mica sticks on here this is just mica from a packaging that i used for this purpose and it works just fine so you don't have to buy anything new i'm doing this little lines to give it some spacing so it's easier to to slide the signs or the papers inside later like this okay and then i'm gonna add some more uv resin on this part just a tiny bit there just to glue them together and then i'm going to add this on top of it like this and I'm gonna place it like press it down a little bit and use your UV light and then we're going to cure this for a few seconds or a moment and I think it's all cured. Yep, cannot move it around anymore. So now I'm just gonna cut off the mica edges. Look, as you can see, and then this one. Okay. So now you have it, your tag holder. As you can see, I can slide in my paper easily on my side too so and i make this shape so if i have like paper in here for example and it's easy to just pull it out like this but it's optional so and i'm going to make the rest of this plates off camera because as you saw it's it's quite difficult and needs some concentration so after i'm finishing them i can start to make my figures um, so now I have my base because I want to make this pumpkin, pumpkin gnome first and I'm using this aloe foil as base um, so I don't have to use too much clay. Here I've, I already mixed up my clay colors that I might gonna use and always close it again so it doesn't dry out.
showed you in the book that I want to make five gnomes for the garden which were the pumpkin, the flower, the butterfly and then the stone and the water gnome but after <laughs> thinking more I got some other ideas and I think that the water and the stone gnome wasn't really interesting and I don't know I just threw out an idea I think so I changed my mind and I want to make instead a mushroom and a seashell gnome because I have um, <clears throat> a lot of seashells and mushrooms is like my holy grail but I don't know I think I, when I was um, thinking for the ideas to, for this video uh, for the for the gnomes I was thinking about making a mushroom gnome and then I think I just changed my mind because I made I already made so much mushrooms in all my creations that I thought like oh, that's too much mushroom I cannot do another mushroom you know but after thinking about it I cannot not do a mushroom because they always do mushrooms and how could I not make one right it's it's like i love mushrooms they're just so cute so i'm gonna make the mushroom instead of the stone one and then i'm going to make the seashell mush uh, gnome because i just have so much seashells every time i'm going to the beach i'm collecting those seashells and i don't really know what to do with them and i'm just having them sitting there and i'm waiting for, the, for an idea to make some something out of it and I'm never coming up with an idea, so I think it's, this is the idea, right? This is the time for it.
colors are finished and this is the final result so i'm gonna introduce you one by one this is mr pumpkin i already varnished every of them every single of them and i put the name tag inside of them so it's just for an example if you have something like this and then we have mr flower And then we have Mr. Butterfly and he is so beautiful, so colorful and I originally made this one, this is supposed to be Mr. Butterfly but I wasn't happy with the outcome and then I wasn't even finished making him so I made Mrs. Fly out of her or just just a little wifey you know so they go together but I didn't include it in the video because it doesn't has the tag and it was just a failed product that I still made <laughs> and then we have Mr. Mushroom and Mr. Seashell or Ocean so as you can see it has a lot of waves and seashells and little mushrooms all around him so this is all the little gnomes that I made in this video I'm gonna show you all of them together here we have the whole gang all together I hope you enjoy this video I'm sorry that it get a little bit longer than my usual videos it's just because I made so many figures and I couldn't decide if I not I could not include every single of them because they're all so unique and cute and I love them all so I couldn't pick favorite and please support my youtube channel by subscribing liking or commenting below and see you in the next video bye